somebody asked actually in the previous video how the rock polishing works and there is the container that you saw me open previously and change the polishing compound in the previous video and it just sits there and spins for a week and that does the polishing here's the one that I repaired recently on a different video with the fossils the only reason it's off is because the container wants to drag on one side or the other and I have to figure out how to stop it I don't think that knot is original because it's supposed to uh, rest on a groove on here with the original knot so I've got to figure out a solution for that the first one is fine well you can see the scoring and I don't want that to wear through not good at all well anyway that's how rock polishing works it just sits there for a week at a time per batch and there's four to five stages of polishing at a week per stage well last night the family and I put together this sawhorse I guess I should turn it around to you this is something I had purchased a long time ago and never got put together because the instructions were horrible there was a tiny microscopic um, image on how to set it up and uh, last night the whole family and he, me we all sat down and we <laughs> together we figured this out I tried contacting the company and uh, trying to get better instructions and they gave me a file that just had a image of a parts list and a parts diagram so with much help magnifiers and all three of us we figured it out on our own anyway I still have to tighten the bolts on there they're just on but this is because the tendon in my arm I don't know what all you can see here on me or not I can't tell um, the tendon in my arm is still hurting so I can't hold a chainsaw and my left knee won't let me put a lot of weight on it so I got this a while back and I finally got it together so this is a really cool thing it folds up flat the legs will fold flat and it folds flat against the wall for storage but what's cool is you put your chainsaw in here and this swings up and down to cut your wood isn't that cool it's got a blade guard that goes over your bar and blade and you can it's got an adjustable bar to set your wood cut length and then you run your chainsaw and cut your board slide it cut your log slide it cut your log without holding the chainsaw now how cool is that um, this is iron tin is the label on it the uh, the product itself seems very very cool I will be trying that if weather permits in the next day or so because we have constant thunderstorms for five days uh, today's supposed to rain too but I'm hoping this will get me back out cutting firewood which we have an abundance of logs on the land I just can't hold a chainsaw so I'm hoping that this will work for me it looks promising now what I'm thinking is to put my wood shop um, roller bars out on either side they're my adjustable rollers so that it holds the log up in in all directions on both sides also another great thing I'm gonna use this for is cutting my sawmill slabs that I buy that I haven't been processing because I can't hold a chainsaw um, the sawmill slabs I can set up on there I can set up a t-post over here at four foot and I can cut out my garden fence um, pickets for my garden which are going to be four foot tall to keep the guineas out and the chickens out of our gardens so for next spring we're going to have a very much more improved property with beautiful fenced gardens and um, they'll have little gates in each garden area and this is going to help me cut them 
And then of course I can use this to cut sawmill slabs for firewood, which is going to dry faster, which we will be able to actually use this year already. So although I didn't do any video because we did not know what we were doing on this, this was a horrendous nightmare to figure out on our own without instructions. By the way, it is reversible. So if anybody is interested, um, I can guide them in putting this together. And if my viewers won't annihilate me from uh, doing a video that's not normal for my channel, I might do an instructional how to assemble video on this because the instructions are non-existent. Um, I'm considering it, but my last how to video was annihilated by thumbs down, which is really sad because I'm just trying to help people. Anyway, uh, I'm considering that option if people will be nice. Uh, let's get on to something else I got to share with you. I got a package here, something I ordered. Um, came a little bit roughed up. UPS shipping. This side is already ripped open, so I hope it's all intact. Hopefully it was packed well. I ordered this quite a while ago. And because of the, the shipper didn't get it out right away, and a uh, weekend came up after that, and then a holiday came up after that, um, I only just got it. So what we have here is something very, um, very valuable to me for my upcoming um, pond digging on the homestead. As you know, I did find flower gold on the property. I'm not all excited, I'm not jumping down, up and down, I'm not going to get rich. But, it seems to be a shame while I'm digging anyway, to just throw it away. I mean, what if it pays for the tractor and the gas costs for digging a hole? I mean, what if? What if it gives us enough for a, a pizza? I mean, what if it pays for the equipment, and then I have that for a lifetime to use later? Yeah, a lot of what ifs. Anyway, so I have, wow, that's heavy. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh wow, good thing I didn't try to make it myself. I have here what's called a Blue Bowl Concentrator. Um, I was going to try to make one, but I realized I might be better off um, buying the whole set because it comes with a actually quite short pipe, but a DC 12-volt um, DC water pump with clamps and the Blue Bowl and then it comes with everything you need. There's uh, clips to hold it on your on a bucket. There's um, some other, I forgot what it's called. But it's got everything you need to, oh yeah, there's uh, um, adjusters for leveling it off. Let me adjust so you can see what I got all here. There's the... Uh, these go in a bucket, these level it up and down, and these are the legs. Hold it up so you can put this over a bucket, and then it's going to be very simple. The You're going to hook up your water supply into here. You could use a, a, a garden hose as well, and then adjust your water flow rate, and the water is going to spin around. You put your black sand concentrates with your gold flakes in here. And the water is going to spin in a circle, and the black sand is lighter, so it's going to spin up around this and jump over the top and drop into your bucket, a five-gallon bucket, which is convenient. Um, and then your gold is going to stay down here in the bottom. That's the theory. This is what I've read. They say this is one of the best things that you can use because getting your gold out of your black sands is really hard. Um, I'll put a link for anybody interested in these, um, and then anybody who is interested later on, I'm going to be doing some um, videos on using it, depending on the weather. I want to get going on it really soon here and try it out. So there's that. That's it. It's been thunderstorms. I've been just running from the storms, trying to survive. Not a lot going on in the homestead except for survival mode. Not a lot of electricity. Um, we've had the thunderstorms, we've had darkness for five days, not a lot of power, not a lot going on. I'll get this video up to you guys. You're interested in the uh, Northern Tool um, Sawhorse or the Blue Bull, links will be below. Otherwise, stay tuned. I hope to get some cool stuff going on if the weather permits today, which will be for tomorrow's video. You never know what's coming tomorrow. 
Uh, give me a thumbs up, like this video, leave a comment below, every interaction helps. And if you haven't done so, hit that notification bell, uh, otherwise you don't get notifications of my videos. Well, see you tomorrow. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Or today, which you'll see tomorrow.